Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have learned median and how median helps to get a clear idea about a group. Median is an average. It is the middle value when the scores are arranged in increasing order. If the number of scores is even, then there are two values at the middle. In that case, half the sum of these middle values is the median. Today, let us learn how to calculate median from frequency table. Let us first understand what is a frequency table. It is a table made by writing all the scores in one column and corresponding frequencies in the second column. For example, this is a frequency table showing monthly income and number of households. These are called scores and these are called frequencies. Why do we make a frequency table? Let us take a situation. Suppose there are 100 students in a class. A class test is conducted and the total marks is 10. When the marks of 100 students are written, it is difficult to understand. What are the possible marks that students can get? They can get marks from 0 to 10. Will all the students get different marks? No, there are only 11 different marks from 0 to 10. But there are 100 students. Surely different students get same marks. Write all the possible marks in the first column that is 0, 1, 2 up to 10 and corresponding to each mark write how many students got that mark. Then we will get a table with all the possible marks or scores in one column and how many times each mark is repeated or frequencies in the second column. This is called a frequency table. A frequency table is a small table in an arranged manner and it can be understood easily. Whereas if we write all the 100 scores separately, it is very difficult to understand. Now let us learn how to find the median from frequency tables by taking a problem. The table below shows 25 children sorted according to hemoglobin levels after a blood test. Find the median hemoglobin level. There are 25 children. Median is the value that comes in the middle. That is, 12 of the children should have less than the median level and 12 more than the median level. To find it, let us make the kids stand in a line in the order of hemoglobin level. Then, the hemoglobin level of the 13th kid is the median. Imagine the kid standing like this. The first two have hemoglobin level 12. The next three have 12.4, the next five have 12.7 and the line grows. We want the hemoglobin level of the 13th kid. The first two children have the hemoglobin level 12 and the next three have their hemoglobin level 12.4. 2 plus 3 is 5. That is when we take the first five children, the level rises to 12.4 or the fifth kid has level 12.4. Adding 5 kids in the next group, we get 10 and the level reaches to 12.7. That is, the 10th kid is at level 12.7. Adding 6 kids in the next group, we get 16 kids and the level reaches to 13.1. Adding 4 kids in the next group, we get 20 kids and the level reaches to 13.3. Adding 3 kids in the next group, we get 23 kids and the level reaches to 13.6. Adding 2 kids in the next group, we get the total 25 kids and the level reaches to 14. Median is the level of the 13th kid. Up to 10 kids, the level is 12.7 and up to 16 kids, the level is 13.1. That means from the 11th kid to the 16th kid, the level is 13.1 or level of the 13th kid is 13.1. The level of the 13th kid is the median. Therefore, the median is 13.1. Instead of drawing like this, we can do this using a table. We can make a table as in the question and we can write the same headings hemoglobin and number of children. Up to 12, there are 2 children. Up to 12.4, there are 2 plus 3 or 5 children. 
up to 12.7 there are 5 plus 5 or 10 children up to 13.1 there are 10 plus 6 or 16 kids up to 13.3 there are 16 plus 4 or 20 kids up to 13.6 there are 20 plus 3 or 23 kids up to 14 there are 23 plus 2 or 25 kids this is the greatest level and up to this level there is the total number of children such a table is called cumulative frequency table here total number of children is 25 since it is an odd number there is only one kid at the middle and we can see the 13th kid is at the middle up to 12.7 there are 10 children and up to 13.1 there are 16 children that is the level of the 11th child is 13.1 Level of the 12th child is also 13.1. Level of the 13th, 14th, 15th and 16th children are also 13.1. That means level of the 13th kid is also 13.1. And we have seen that median is the level of the 13th kid. Therefore we can say median is 13.1. Now let us do the problems on page 252. First problem. 35 households in a neighborhood are sorted according to the monthly income in the table below. Calculate the median income. First of all, let us prepare a cumulative frequency table. We can make a table like this. We can write the same headings, monthly income and number of households. Up to 4000, there are 3 households. Up to 5000, there are 3 plus 7 or 10 households. Up to 6000, there are 10 plus 8 or 18 households. Up to 7000, there are 18 plus 5 or 23 households. Up to 8000, there are 23 plus 5 or 28 households. Up to 9000, there are 28 plus 4 or 32 households. Up to 10,000, there are 32 plus 3 or 35 households. And we can see the total number of households is 35. Since it is an odd number, there is one household at the middle. If we arrange them according to the monthly income. How can we find the middle household? Add 1 to this, we get 36. Divided by 2, we get 18. That means... 18th household is the middle household. Before it is 17 households and after it also there are 17 households. So let us find the monthly income of the 18th household. Up to 5000 there are 10 households. Up to 6000 there are 18 households. That means from 11th to 18th the monthly income is 6000 or the monthly income of 18th household is also 6000. That means the median is 6000. Second problem. The table below shows the workers in a factory sorted according to the daily wages. Calculate the median daily wage. First of all, let us prepare a cumulative frequency table. We can prepare a table like this. We can write the same headings, daily wages and number of workers. Up to 400, there are 2 workers. Up to 500, there are 2 plus 4 or 6 workers. Up to 600, there are 6 plus 5 or 11 workers. Up to 700, there are 11 plus 7 or 18 workers. Up to 800, there are 18 plus 5 or 23 workers. Up to 900, there are 23 plus 4 or 27 workers. Up to 1000, there are 27 plus 3 or 30 workers. The total number of workers is 30. It is an even number. That means there are two workers at the middle if they arrange them according to the daily wages. The 15th and 16th workers are at the middle. To find the median, we have to find their daily wages and we have to find half the sum of the daily wages. 
So let us find the daily wages of the 15th and 16th workers. Up to 600 there are 11 workers. Up to 700 there are 18 workers. That means from the 12th worker to the 18th worker the daily wage is 700. Or the daily wage of 15th and 16th workers are also 700. So we got the daily wages of both the 15th and 16th worker. To find the median, let us add them together and divide it by 2. Both has the daily wage 700. 700 plus 700 means 2 into 700. When we divide it by 2, we get 700 itself. That is, the median daily wage is 700 rupees. Now there is a homework. The table below gives the number of babies born in a hospital during a week sorted according to their birth weight. Calculate the median birth weight. We shall discuss the remaining part in the next video. Till then.